the war in Jacksonville has been all over the news for years, but most people don't know about one of the deadliest shooters in the city, ATK Scotty. He allegedly put all kinds of pressure on the ops and was involved with some of the most brutal hits in the city. And today we're breaking down the entire crazy story behind why he's locked up on two murder charges right now. ATK Scotty didn't spark the war in Jacksonville, but he's allegedly been active since the beginning. Everything allegedly started back in 2017 when a rapper named Zion Brown was shot and killed inside his home. Zion was at the crib with his little sister, Taria, and their nine-year-old cousin when they heard someone throw a brick through the window. One of them called the cops, but by the time they got there, it was already too late. Taria walked into the living room and saw a dude in a hoodie. That's when everything popped off. The dude upped his strap and started letting off shots, and Taria ducked behind the couch to avoid getting hit. She still caught a bullet to the leg, and her little cousin got hit too and survived, but Zion was tragically hit multiple times and didn't make out alive. An ATK affiliate named Trey Shorty ended up getting booked for the shooting, and rumors say his homie Young and Ace was with him when it went down. It's not clear why Trey wanted to take Zion out, but according to police documents, there are text messages that prove it wasn't just a random shooting and that Trey went to the crib to kill Zion. Zion's death was a tragedy, but nobody expected what happened next. After Zion was killed, Ace and Trey were both booked for allegedly robbing the plug and busting shots at him. Ace beat the case, but then a few months later, the war in Jacksonville really kicked off after one of the most brutal shootings in rap history. In 2018, Ace was out celebrating with his little brother and a couple homies at a steakhouse for one of their birthdays. They were having a chill night, not worrying about all the street drama. And that's how they got caught lacking when they left the restaurant. When they pulled up to a red light after dinner, another whip came through and started letting off shots. Ace's brother and two friends were all killed on the spot, and Ace barely survived after he caught eight bullets. Nobody was ever booked for the shooting, but rumors say that another rapper from the city named Fulio and his six block crew were behind the hit. Zion Brown was Fulio's cousin, and a lot of people think the shooting that killed Quan Quan, 2 3, Bo, and almost took out Ace was revenge for Zion's death. Fulio has been dissing Ace over the situation ever since it went down, and on the track When I See You, he rapped. Ace from the West, how they clicked up with the East side. He ain't been the same since he seen the other three die. Bitch, I'm 2 3 high. Bitch, say your goodbye. Gave that boy the business like a suit and a bow tie. Like them boys block up like the 4th of July. They got caught lacking, the whole world wanna know why. He took another shot at them on the track list of dead ops and raps. Can't forget 2 3, Juan, and Fo in the back seat. Hey, Ace only one survived. See that nigga bless if you ask me. If he's still trying to beef, remember, you lost three. When Ace's friends and brother got killed, it was a huge loss for ATK. And that's why ATK Scotty and his homie K-So allegedly took out one of Fulio's best friends. In 2019, Fulio's homies Lil Bibby and Popout were chilling in six block territory at the Hilltop Apartments. According to rumors, an ATK affiliate named Rollo drove him to the spot. Then K-So and Scotty hopped out and started letting off shots. Bibby and Popout ran off in different directions when the bullets started flying. Scotty allegedly chased Popout and couldn't catch up to him, while Queso walked Bibby down and brutally murdered him in broad daylight. Queso was facing trial for killing Bibby, but before he got booked, he was dissing him on tracks like Queso Bitch when he rapped. ATK don't do no drive-bys. He ain't going to the hospital, dead flies. Who the fuck wanna play with us? Fuck they dead guys. Bibby had a closed casket. I wasn't surprised. He took shots at Pop Out for running off and leaving Baby behind too and said, I don't know why y'all call him Pop Out, cause Mike gon' hide. Still smoking his dank, can't open my eyes. Smoke six gon' die. Baby died. Julio and Six Block weren't the only ones taking losses though. Queso's brother Boscoon had been locked up for seven years on a burglary charge, and just a few months after coming home, the ops caught him outside a club in Jacksonville and shot him to death. Boscoon had just performed at the Paradise Gentlemen's Club and got into a whip with his dad, brother, and three other family members. He had a history in the streets, but people close to him say Boscoon had given it all up and was just trying to focus on music. And that's why a lot of people think he just got caught up in the war between ATK and Six Block. Fulio dissed Boss Goon on the track beatbox and rapped. Rolling dead ops, he caught a headshot. Big Boss gone, we got him scared now. He was dissing in them songs, what he saying now? AR with the 50 round, knock his dread off. Fulio wasn't the only rapper sending shots at Boss Goon though. A dude named Lil Buck had dissed Boss Goon, and that's why K-So and Scotty allegedly killed him back in 2020. Lil Buck was at a shopping plaza in the middle of the day when a shooter popped out and left him dead in the street. The shooters then jumped in a whip and got into a high-speed chase with the cops. 
and that's when they ended up crashing and running off on foot. Queso went one way, and the other two dudes ran another direction. Queso's homie Dominique Barnes and ATK Scotty were allegedly the other guys on the hit, and they ended up breaking into a woman's house and trying to steal her husband's clothes. While they were in her bedroom, the woman came in, and that's when Dominique allegedly started choking her with both hands. Scotty and Dominique allegedly called Queso's dad to come pick them up, but getting him involved with the situation turned out to be a huge mistake. Dominique got booked, and the woman he choked picked him out of a lineup. Then he was caught talking to a confidential informant and telling him that Queso is the one to pull the trigger on Lil Buck. Dominique also told them about Queso's dad picking him up, and that's when the cops brought his dad in and he straight up snitched on his own son. The cops showed him the video of Lil Buck's murder, and Queso's dad told him he recognized Queso as a shooter. Scotty and Queso were allegedly ATK's most active dudes. Back in 2019, Young and Ace, Queso, Scotty, and some other ATK dudes were in Waycross, Georgia when the ops ambushed them at their hotel and started letting off shots. Rollo was shot and killed on the spot while Scotty and Queso upped their straps and shot back. Queso aired the situation out on the track Ben Dead and rapped, we gonna pull it back on your head and get you toe tag. And I don't like to brag, but Don Dada got that K. Should've killed me in Waycross. They hopped out with them Ks. Me and Scotty busting back, we was on the same page. One of ATK's ops named Tiki Shots was allegedly involved with killing Rollo in Georgia, and rumors say Queso ended up catching Tiki at a gas station and murdering him. On the same track he talked about the Waycross situation, Queso raps, I was mad as fuck, I went up in a fucking rage. I caught a nigga lacking at the store, fucked up his face. Queso isn't the only dude from ATK who was shot at Scotty out for being a real hitter. His nicknames are 33 and Scotty Pippen, and on the track Dead Ops 6, ATK YBZ rapped, 33 don't need no mask, bare face run down get on your ass, take one time you know I'm a spaz, have them killers outside laid up in your grass. Scotty never hopped in the booth and rapped about the trenches, but on Twitter he said that he can't even count on both hands how many people he had killed. Taking out your ops is one thing, but rumors say that Scotty was willing to go after anyone who was causing issues for ATK. A couple of years after Zion Brown was killed, Trey Shorty was still locked up and facing a murder trial. Zion's sister Taria was going to testify on the trial since she was there when it went down and caught a bullet in the leg too. But before the trial, someone caught Taria and hit her up 14 times. Luckily, she was able to pull through and survive, but the shooting made it clear that ATK would take out anyone they needed to. ATK YBC was blamed for the shooting, but eventually the case was dropped after he proved he was at a basketball tournament. Nobody else ever faced charges over the situation, but Taria's mom claimed on social media that Scotty was the one behind the shooting and that the cops only booked YBC because he looks like Scotty. Scotty was allegedly putting crazy pressure on the ops, but eventually it all caught up to him. After he allegedly slid on Lil Buck with Queso, the cops booked Scotty for murder and said that his DNA was found inside the woman's home he broke into after they crashed the whip. During his interrogation, the cops tried to get Scotty to flip on Queso because they believed Queso was the one who actually pulled the trigger on Lil Buck. But Scotty wouldn't give him any details and said he didn't even know what they were talking about. So this is your best time to tell me your side of the story about January and what happened. And I'm just trying to give you the opportunity. Mm -hmm. You don't know or? The war in Jacksonville has been one of the most violent rap wars ever, and ATK Scotty was allegedly involved with a lot of the bodies. It's not clear how many people he actually took out, but after his trial starts, there's no telling what kind of evidence will come out against him. The cops gave him a chance to flip on Queso and make a deal, but Scotty held it down and could end up with a life sentence over the situation. Queso is supposed to be going to trial at the end of 2024, and even though Scotty isn't working with the cops, the situation isn't looking good for him. Queso's own dad is going to testify against him, and the cops allegedly already have a ton of evidence against him in the Lil Buck murder. Losing Queso and Scotty to prison is a huge loss for ATK, but maybe having a couple of the top shooters in the city behind bars can stop the tragic violence.